Hey everyone, Wolf Lord here. Today we're talking Conrad Kerr's The Night Haunter, as we ask if he's the Primarch the Emperor truly needs now. General spoiler warning to begin, as today we will be referencing events from across the Warhammer 40k universe. But with that said, let's waste no time and just jump straight in. So, on Monday, we had a discussion about the Emperor's Crusade of Vengeance. How during the Emperor's offer of redemption to Magnus the Red, he revealed his desire to lead a new crusade across the stars once more. Except this time, rather than unity, it would be fired by vengeance. A crusade dedicated to the ruination and annihilation of their enemies. And we discussed how I couldn't help but notice and feel the similarities to the current Indomitus Crusade 10,000 years later. How it is really exactly that, a crusade of vengeance against the forces of chaos. An attempt to reclaim the Imperium. One that arose directly after Gilliman's reunion with the Emperor, making it tantalizingly possible to me that the deep conversation Trajan Valoris witnessed within the throne room could well have been the Emperor instructing Gilliman to organize and launch his crusade. And you know, since then, my mind's really been thinking of Conrad Kurz how perfectly suited he would have been for just such a crusade. The Emperor's Campaign of Vengeance A few months back, we had a bit of fun ranking the traitor Primarch bloodlines most needed and missed by the Imperium. And I had the Night Lord line higher than maybe most people would have expected but admittedly, certainly not ranking up into the top tier. However, that was a conversation and ranking based on the entirety of the Imperium's current situation, how a founding of particular chapters would fit in, adapt to the larger picture. But in regard specifically to a crusade of vengeance, as the Emperor stated, this will be a war of vengeance and cleansing, a scouring of worlds and a ruthless doom to all our enemies. I can't help but think that would absolutely be Kurz's cup of tea. No, he's not an Angron or a Lehman Russ, but an Angron is not what's needed. Because for all the ruthless scouring and cleansing of their enemies, there still needs to be an Imperium left in its wake. I'll admit, Kurz isn't necessarily the first Primarch you think of when you think of a campaign of complete and utter devastation to its enemies. However, there's a real key factor for me in that that devastation, ruination and scouring of enemies is quite obviously limited to those enemies. It's not an Armageddon to the entire galaxy, which is what you'd get with an unleashed Angron, for example. Conrad, for all his problems, for all the apparent depravity and savageness of his actions, was all about retribution to those who deserved it. And with Kurz, the biggest issues were always his excesses. The brutalness of his actions as seen by his brothers. Yes, Nostromo pushed him a little further down the path than planned, and his visions of the future tormenting him undoubtedly led to madness. However, Kurz, just as all the Primarchs, was very much created to perform that function, that role. And if the Emperor truly had an issue with him, he would have been brought to sanction long before Nostramo's destruction. And so, in a crusade of vengeance against the enemy, a re-cleansing and conquest of the galaxy, where a loyal Conrad Kurz and his sons could be unleashed, again, 
I just think that would have been perfect. Batman puns aside, I am the vengeance, I am the knight. With Kurz and the Night Lords, you'd have the one force truly capable of reminding the fallen worlds that it's the Imperium that should be feared. A force that could literally terrify a rebellious world straight and a crusade where such is its impact, word would spread like wildfire of its coming. Systems pleading for the Emperor's forgiveness long before they even arrive. Terror flooding them for the punishment about to come. And that kind of impact is not only completely unique amongst the Emperor's sons, but it'd also be invaluable. We know I love Lehman Russ. I love Lionel Johnson. Heck, I love all the Primarchs. But let's be honest here. None can inflict fear like Conrad. Instead of worlds simply being liberated or reconquered, with still a kernel of resentment possibly hidden within, embedded within its administration. It's populous. You'd have worlds begging for the Emperor's forgiveness, not even daring to harbour doubt, realising all too well their mistake. In this crusade, one where its purpose is not to solely bring unity, but to cleanse the traitor and the heretic, to purge the taint of chaos, the actions of Kurz of his sons, would excel. There'd be no cause for censure when faced with the ruinous powers. And again, this would be a loyal Conrad, not the fallen to madness ghoul he became. And let's not forget their gene seed has always been, even now, remarkably pure. A lot is made of the Night Lord's ambush tactics, how they simply aren't up to scratch in straight-up fights against fellow Astartes. Indeed, within the Night Lords trilogy, you see the Night Lords on many occasions having to run or escape conflict. However, for me, it's really important to remember the Night Lord warbands are a vast, vast departure from the Legion of old. These are forces that have been salvaging and scavenging war gear and supplies since the heresy, who have had command structures shattered and essentially been left to operate on the whims of warlords. There's just no comparison to the original vision of the Midnight Clad. And even in the heresy, you could say the Night Lords lost to Lionel Johnson and the Dark Angels. And yes, maybe so. However, Curtis's objective was to tie up the First Legion out amid the darkness, to simply stall him, remove him from the fight. And well, that's exactly what Conrad did. And this was at a point where Conrad was already well down the path to madness, with the Legion filled with the dregs of Nostromo he hated most certainly not a prime Conrad and Legion. Really, we should ask if we even ever got to see Kurz at his best. But even then, regardless, he still more than held his own against the prime Lion L. Johnson and the mighty First Legion. So, a loyal Conrad with a loyal founding of sons at his command he'd absolutely be more than capable of going straight up against traitor Astartes, his traitor brothers. In fact, in my opinion, it'd give the Imperium a huge advantage, with Conrad being far less predictable than a Gilliman or L. Johnson, like a more sinister-looking Jagatai, or of course Korax, adding a great unknown element to the Imperium's crusade but a far more merciless and savage one. A factor that the enemy could never be too sure where he was going to appear. And as for the traitor brothers, 
Conrad is an absolute beast in combat. I think Gilliman gets a little slept on at times, but there's no denying Conrad is vastly his superior. Absolutely pushing L. Johnson to the limit, even happy to go up against the Angel Sanguinius. And we've just seen L. Johnson defeat the demon elevated Angron. So having a Primarch back who legitimately pushed him to the limit, who could just as easily have won? Well, that would be a huge boost for the Imperium. But this conversation is really more on just how Kurz and his line would fit the new version of the Emperor's Crusade. Their traits and talents. His presence. Other Primarchs may excel better in particular areas, their sons more conventional or direct. A Lehman Russ, for example. But I just can't help thinking it's that nature of Conrad, his lineage, that would fit this new era of war perfectly, and was maybe where Conrad would have truly shined had he ever got the chance. Of course it's never going to happen, it's a what if conversation. Conrad was lost a long time ago, in truth long before his death at the hands of the assassin. And even if Belisarius ever manages to get a founding of Traitor Lines, it's really Conrad for me that would make the difference. The line of Night Lord successors have their advantages, as we discussed a few months back. But it takes a Primarch to really govern the fate of a war. To be that symbol of fear, vengeance, that could traverse the galaxy that could represent his father's punishment. And so for me, maybe it is Conrad Kurz who is the Primarch most needed, most missed, by the Emperor's new war. But as always everyone, what do you think? If indeed this is the era of the Emperor's war of vengeance, is a loyal Conrad Kurz the Primarch who could be most suited? A Primarch who could bring cleansing, merciless vengeance, but also harness it into his aura of fear, being that representation of the Emperor's wrath, reminding the people it's the Emperor who should be feared, not the ruinous powers. Is the grimdark era begging out for a loyal Conrad? Or instead, do you see it needing a more literal, direct Primarch? Such as a Lehman Russ, or even a Ferris Manus? As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. If you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And if you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. But with that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon.